Today we have episode number 8 of our Road to Prestige level 100. So we're going for 608 or more likes on the video. Subscribe if y'all are new on the road to 60,000 subscribers. If we hit that before June 1st, we'll be giving away $100. Feel free to follow on any of those social medias. If you guys want to, use code TWIN on controlfreak.com. Comment anything down below. Maybe if you think we're going to get trout in this pack, we're coming up on it, man. This is at 45, okay? I really want to get to 45 as soon as possible so we can open this up. This is sellable, too. So if we get trout in this pack, we will be able to sell him for 300,000 stubs or whatever he's going for. So I really cannot wait to get to prestige level 45. I'm trying to do it as fast as possible, and that's why we're doing another one of these videos today. So today I'm going to be going into an NL West showdown I am one to two showdowns away from having the NL West team affinities done. I technically need, I think, five or, uh, five or six, maybe seven vouchers to get it done. But I also have some, uh, some missions I could do, you know, innings with players from this team, certain types of hits with the team. So I already have an NL West showdown going, and I'm going to finish this one in this video. And then after this... I think that I'm going to just try to skip to the end and get another one done just so we could try to get two of them done in one video if need be. So let's go ahead, hop into this moment. I'm currently at six runs and I'm just probably going to play through all of these to try to get as much XP as I can. I've been grinding showdowns like crazy and we are going to be facing Chris Paddock. I need to score three runs in the first three innings without allowing one run. That's a good start from uh, Todd Helton on our team. I actually don't, what, what do I need to do? I actually don't remember. I need to score three runs. Okay, so hopefully we can just do that in the first inning. That'd be nice. Max Muncy hits it well. Oh, there we go. It's a two-run home run. Nice. So now we just need one more run and we get this one done. Tatis. I don't like lining out with perfect perfect, especially when the CPU makes a diving catch. Corey Seager with a single. Oh, Mike Yastrzemski with the base hit. I'm going to send the runner to third. 47 speed. Now a deep fly ball wins us this moment. So I check my swing with Cole Calhoun, and we pop down to second. And then now Austin Barnes, I'm grinding out, so we have to pitch and then hit again. Now I'm in danger of giving up a run and failing this. I'm really hoping we don't. And David Dahl wins it for us. Top of the second. We had a 1-2-3 bottom of the first against the CPU. So we're getting some stubs. We're getting some XP. Most importantly, we're getting, I think, two runs towards the final showdown which is going to make it that much easier plus we get you know another player another hopefully perk which should hopefully make it easier for us as well so let's go ahead and see what the team's going to be looking like after this who we're going to be getting what type of perk we're going to be getting a gold player gold perk two runs which is super nice and i'll just do eduardo escobar i don't know if we'll put him on the team right now maybe put him in for cole calhoun actually that would work out well and then the perk contact boost on the first two pitches is the only one that would help me so i have a pretty much lefty heavy team we're facing mad bum 10 ounce to get four runs that might be kind of tough with my team but we'll focus up try to do our best good start from todd helton lefty v lefty that's what we need i would like to get this one done as fast as possible and there's hopefully one run and ball four to max muncie there we go a home run ties it from tatis and that's another ball for four pitch walk. Corey Seager, bases loaded. Mike Yastrzemski wins it for us. There we go. That's awesome. Eight outs to go. Perfect. I needed that. And we're on to the next one in the next moment. Now, the only way we can fail is if we don't beat the final boss. We have three moments. I think they each have two possible runs for him that we're going to try to do, I think, unless they're going to take way too long. And hopefully, we can get a really good player, a really good perk that will help us out right here. That's what we're looking for from this little bit of a draft we got a show pack as well which is nice some more xp which is nice and some more stubs which obviously is nice as well diamond player um it's off of walker bueller so we're facing walker bueller here and i could go posey i'm just gonna go posey right now man i'm okay with that pick even though 73 power versus righties i'm fine with that significant contact boost o2 counts that's actually one of the best if not the best perks you can get because a lot of times it's good to watch until two strikes so we're gonna do that and i'm gonna do i'm gonna do it instead of the defibrillator one so this next moment with a 2-1 lead against the dodgers in the eighth inning finish off the win without allowing a home run okay and there we go getting that one done so there's two more runs another player i think a gold player and gold perk 
for this one as well. I think the final two moments are for a diamond player and a diamond perk as well as the two runs and everything. But it's just making it that much quicker right now for this uh, for the final showdown, which is definitely nice. You know, I want it to be as easy as possible, as carefree, stress-free as possible. We only need six runs now. I'm hoping we could get four more runs from the final two moments. And I'm going to go... Man, I don't know. I don't, I don't really want any of these dudes. Uh, you know, we got Tatis at short. I guess I could go Emilio Pagan in case one of these final moments we need a relief pitcher. And then don't really want any of these either. Next one is pitching against the strong Rockies. Lineup strike on three batters without giving up a home run in the first two innings. Okay. And we're getting this one done. It only took five runs coming across the score, but we got it done. And we got it done in the first inning. I just didn't want to have to hit. So we got it done pretty easily. Two more runs. We got one moment to go. We get another diamond player. We get some more stubs XP. And we also get a diamond perk. Hopefully a usable one. Also, it's 15 to 12, man. I, I definitely like that. It's going to make that last one a little bit easier. Cody Bellinger. Yes, sir. That's huge, man. That's awesome. And then significant contact boost outside. Pitches down the middle. Let's do that one. So this final one is enter the game in the eighth inning. Tied 5 to 5. Come away with the victory. So I didn't score a run in the uh in the eighth or ninth inning so i'm just gonna quit this one move on to the next one i don't want to waste more time right i want to try to be productive i want to get to this final moment i know we're losing out on some stubs and some xp and everything uh but i think we should be able to get this done pretty easily and beats walker bueller ball for to todd helton lead off walk if we can drive him in with a home run we only need two more runs and ball four to tatis bro i have 14 outs remaining i'm struggling so far grounded into a double play I'm just chasing pitches. I need to be, I, because I have so much of a cushion and like I don't need a lot of runs, I think I am just not focusing enough. And, and I got to be focusing because if I want to try to skip to the end and get this done, I want to make sure I'm in the right mindset and ha taking the right approach at the plate. I want to be getting in a rhythm, getting in a habit, waiting for my pitch to hit, not chasing stuff. And Cody Bellinger with the home run. I grounded into another double play, y'all. We got 11 outs to try to get two runs. I think we can do it, but I'm not happy with how I'm playing right now. Hey, there we go, man. Max Muncy with a double, getting himself in a scoring position, so hopefully no double play. Now, I need to hit a home run and just get it done. And Corey Seager, it's not a home run, but he's going to get into scoring position now, and all we need to do is have one more of those, and we finish this showdown. And we get it done. Woohoo. There we go, man. All right. So let's go take these to the team affinity and take those vouchers to a maybe tournament or something. I don't know exactly what I want to do. I just got to check it out a little bit and see where we're at. So team affinity, Diamondbacks, we've already done. Rockies, we're at 64 on a 70. So this would get me at 69 if I were to do this. So I think we need one voucher for the Rockies because I can probably easily get that done. So oops, that's not the voucher. There it is. There's the exchange. So let's get that voucher going. There's one of them for the Rockies. And we're at 68 out of 70. That should get mid done. And then I've done all the moments. We did that in a video a few days ago. So I don't have the moments to do. Dodgers, we are at 65 out of 70. Um, Innings, 42 online innings. That might take a little while. Let's see. If I had a team full of Dodgers for the events. Let's see. So uh, if I had a team full of Dodgers, that's including pitchers, I guess. We could, we could do that versus the Dodgers so I could just do one voucher for them so let's just put one voucher in for the Dodgers for now kind of see where we're at uh just kind of wait so we're at 60 68 for the Rockies 69 for the Dodgers Padres were at 63 um I can do these two I can do the innings versus CPU I can do uh I can, I can do the RBIs that's fine with me I'm okay with that if we need so I'm not gonna put one on the Padres for now Giants we might need to put in two or three so Giants uh innings will put me at 63 so let me just do one of these vouchers and see where we're at so the innings would put me at 60 uh 66 so yeah let's just do one more exchange for the giants and that's good okay so we're at 65 out of 70 this will put me at 70 so we got that done with the padres was it the padres or no padres i can do these two that will have it done for me for that Dodgers, I can do this. Okay, I can just go into the event or something and do that. That will have it done for me. And then Rockies, I could do this and have it done. Interesting. Okay, so I have one voucher to do something with. I th I, I, so if I do this for the Rockies, that's offline. So we're, I, I can easily do that one. Padres were at 63 on a 70. I can easily do this offline, I'm pretty sure. 
and then innings that might take a little while just because uh you know it's 130 816 actually that's not that bad man that's just two cpu games uh and then giants let's see that one and then dodgers sorry i'm, I'm taking a while to, to go over this and that's my bad so then dodgers uh the innings so i am just going to do I think the Dodgers right now finish them off, finish their stage one off. And for the rest of this video, I'm going to try to skip to the end versus Walker Bueller. I didn't feel super good even with that good team of mine. But if we can get it done, we get all three of these done as well in this video. So I'm just going to try it out and we're going to try skipping to the end versus Walker Bueller. no we choke it wow man so with one out it was 15 to 9 and then i get five runs and then i go and do that i will say i'm pretty sure i grounded into like five double plays let me let me go to my outs and see if i can see so let's see one two three four five double plays man that killed me that's 10 outs right there on five swings yeah that's what killed me that time and we got it done there we go so i skipped to the end and i just really focused up i, I was Grinding into double play, swinging a stupid stuff my first time, and I was like, you know what, I'm not happy with that, I want to redeem myself, so we skipped to the end, got it done, six ounces to spare, felt pretty good, I'm glad we got it done. I did grind into one double play though, with Duke Snyder, my only diamond I grinded into a double play with, so. We ended up getting it done, I think we should have stage one Team Affinities done, I'm really hoping so man, I've been doing so many showdowns, and if we can actually have it done, it would feel really good to have it done, I really hope so. I really, and we're almost prestige 40 for the 10 standard packs. Let's go, man. We got a lot of XP today. We got quite a bit of XP. I'm definitely happy with that. Let's see. So, team affinity. Um, So, I have 20 to spend. So, there's five right there. That's going to take eight, though. That's going to take eight. So, that, two. So, I, I, can I get this done with one? I think so. I, I think we actually get it done. I'm pretty sure. Let me just... Let me see one thing. So that one's going to be the easiest, I think, to get done versus CPU. So let me just try to get these two done first and just make sure. Uh, so let's exchange that. I really hope we have we have enough. I'm pretty sure we do. Math is hard, though, man. I'm not going to lie. Math is kind of hard, but I'm pretty sure we have enough to get stage one done. Come on, baby. Please. Please. Am I finally done with... I really hope I'm finally done with stage one showdowns. Oh, man. I, I hope I'm finally done. Please, please, please. It looks like I am done, though. It looks like I am. We're at 69. I know I could do this for five. That would probably be better for me to do. Uh, so we could have one extra towards stage two. But I, at this point, I, you know, I don't, I don't... I'm fine, man. I'm chilling. It's all good. It's not that much of a difference, right? And then here. Please, baby. Come on, man. Come on, man. I think we do. I think everyone is at minimum 58. I'm pretty sure. I want to say it is. I, I think we have all the players. So let's go ahead, go to collections, go to legends and flashbacks, and then wait, have I not done this? Oh, wait, why did I not do that yet? Y'all, so we're doing that. We're getting some XP. We level up to prestige 40 from doing this. Or no, have I already done that? Wait, why? Will, oh, wait, no. They, okay, it just wasn't letting me press start. So there we go. We're Prestige 40. We got the Lightning Strike Stadium sound, and we got 10 standard packs from hitting Prestige 40. And here's what, I, here's what I, I'm excited for, though. Auto select. We have all 30 Stage 1 Team Affinities done. We have all 30 face of the franchise is done, and we get the Team Collector nameplate. Wow, man, that makes me happy. Oh, that's awesome to finally have that done. Plus 3K stubs, 5K XP. That's so nice to finally have that done. And now we're moving on to the future stars, the stage two team affinities. I currently have five. So we have 25 teams to go. However, I will say the stage two showdowns, I'm pretty sure if I'm not mistaken, are a lot easier than the stage one showdown. So hopefully we can get that done faster and hopefully we can get this done here. Honestly, man, next few weeks, two to three weeks, I've been going hard stage one showdowns. I, I might take a little bit of a break, but I want to go hard on stage two showdowns as well and uh hopefully get these that's a sick nameplate too hopefully get all the future stars just so i can be ready whenever the stage three uh team affinities come out but it feels good to have that done i hope you guys enjoyed the video man it feels good to have that done for sure we're on our way now to prestige level 45 we should have it in the next few days so i'm gonna be grinding out some showdowns and everything uh we're gonna be playing the game obviously and we should have this here in the next few days i'm hoping 
I don't know about tomorrow, man. It depends on how much I play, how much I play today after I edit the videos. I, I'm thinking we won't have this tomorrow, um, but maybe the next day, two or three days would be my guess. I would guess two or three days from now we should have this, and this will definitely have its own dedicated video. If you guys enjoyed the video, definitely be sure to leave a like, subscribe, comment anything down below. Feel free to follow on any of the social medias, all that good stuff. I'll see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you all have a fantastic rest of your day. Peace out.